Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 5 of my tutorial series on how to create multiplayer games. So in this tutorial we're going to add this cool little graphic for um, our spaceship here when our player connects. Actually we're going to add the red one. And we're also going to add the blue one uh, somewhere on our screen when another player connects. Now I don't think they'll be able to move by the end of this tutorial but we'll get to that in the future. So if you're interested in that, stick with me. So if, as you can see here inside the Android Assets folder I have two uh, images a player ship and a player ship 2 those will be available in the github repo um, I've created a new directory here called sprites and we are going to inside that create a new Java class called starship and starship is going to extends the sprite class from libgdx hopefully you guys know about that um, we are going to create a new constructor public starship that takes in a texture texture and then we'll just say use the same um, constructor for the sprites so we'll just do super and pass that the texture and then what we want to do is create a new vector 2 because later on we're going to use um, to use this vector 2 to see if the position of the ship has changed um, so we're going to say vector 2 previous position and so uh, as you know the sprite class holds the current position already in get x and get y so but what we can do is previous position equals new vector 2 get x get y and then what we're going to do is create a new method to see if the uh, starship has moved and it'll just return a boolean value if the starship has actually moved so uh, public boolean has moved and if the previous position does not equal get x or previous position dot y does not equal get y this needs to be position dot get x right um, then what we want to do is the previous position dot x equals get x and previous position dot y equals get y and then we'll return true because he has moved otherwise we want to return a false because he hasn't moved and there we go now let's go back to our multiplayer demo class here and I want to let you guys know really quick that this uh, tutorial series is uh, not going to be really good at module design we're pretty much gonna build the game inside the multiplayer demo class uh, so uh, this whole series is based basically on just to get you information on socket IO and how to connect players together and fire off events and things like that so we're just demoing uh, those kind of things so don't expect a good module design you guys should probably be you know extending the game class and using screens and stuff like that in libgdx we're not going to do that here uh, just for um, getting to the point purposes so let's go ahead and create a few variables here we're going to start off with our player starship then we're going to create two new textures a player ship and a texture uh, let's do friendly ship and then we'll initialize both of those ships inside of our constructor so player ship equals new texture and then this one will be the player ship 2.png and then our friendly ship will equal new texture uh, and this will be the player ship .png. those are just what we named our graphics inside of our android assets folder now if you scroll down to our connection event where right now we're just logging that we've connected to the server what we want to do is say player equals new starship and give it our player ship um, and then when we render everything right now we're just rendering the uh, libgdx logo we're going to get rid of that we're going to say play uh, we'll say if um, player does not equal null he's been created and then do player dot draw 
and then give it our batch file there. And then also really quick up at the top, I wanna just go ahead and get rid of the image texture here. And then we wanna make sure we dispose of the player ship and the friendly ship uh, when we're uh, done with the game. So I'm going to generate override methods and dispose. And what we'll do is player ship dot dispose. Wow. And then friendly ship dot dispose. Make sure we clean up any uh, memory problems that we have there. So before we test it, let's go ahead and actually just for our single player, um, go ahead and add some controls for movement. So we're going to inside of our render method, do a method called handle input and it is going to take in a gdx dot graphics dot get delta time and so we'll just create that here uh, public void handle input that takes in a float delta time and then we'll say if uh, player does not equal null then we're going to check to see if any of the controls are held down so we'll say if uh, gdx dot input dot is key pressed um, and input dot keys dot left is pressed then we want to move our player left so player dot set position and then we'll say player dot get x plus and then we'll do if he's going left we want him to move minus left uh, 200 times delta time so we're moving in relation to how much uh, time has changed since the last update so that's why we're multiplying scaling it by delta time um, that will be in the x-axis and player dot get y is not moving because we're just moving left and then else um, if let's see gdx dot input dot is key pressed um, input dot keys dot right then we want to do the exact opposite so we'll just copy this here so instead of minus 200 times delta time then we'll plus 200 times delta time okay now we can test it so go ahead and hit the run button up here. It's green uh, triangle and it, hopefully our game will connect relatively soon. And so it's connected. Now it's connected to the server. That's why you saw a little bit of lag when this graphic wasn't here. Then it connected to the server. It created our player um, and we can move our player to the left and the right. So far we're looking good. So now what we want to do is keep track of all the friendly starships that connect to the server and we're going to do that by storing them inside of a hash map where the key is their ID and of course the object itself is the starship. So what we're going to do is create a hash map um, and then the key will be a string and then the starship is the object and we'll call this friendly players and then we'll create that down here friendly players oops players equals new hash map there we go so now we want to draw all of the starships inside of our friendly ships hash map and we're going to do that by iterating over every entry inside uh, our hash map so we do that by four hash map um, dot entry and then we give it our string and starship and we call that entry so for every entry in our friendly uh, players dot entry set we want to take that entry get its value which of course is the starship and the starship has a method called draw because it's a sprite and we're going to pass it our batch and so that will draw every friendly ship inside of our hash map now, in order to draw something, we actually had to have something in our hash map. So let's go ahead and inside the new player event in our socket IO events, we are going to do uh, friendly players dot put, and then we the key is the first value, and that'll be our ID. 
and the value is a new starship and then the texture we're going to use is the friendly ship texture so now we can test it so go ahead and hit run this will launch the first uh instance of the game which should just show us our player ship which it does so we're going to move this to the side and show our second instance of the game a new player should now connect to the server and hopefully we're going to see that new player on this screen over here um, is a blue player ship so that is the goal here we go um, and of course we can move on here we don't have any move update methods uh, yet but when a new player connected of course we saw their ship appear in our game world so we're making progress two thumbs up so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, we still got lots to do, like adding movement events to Socket.io and also making sure that newly connected clients uh, get sent all relevant data to the current game world, like where other starships are already. Um, if you remember from just a second ago, uh, our newly connected client didn't have the previous starship show up on their screen. So we're going to fix all that in future tutorials. I hope you guys stick with me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. Pretty good about getting back to everybody. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. But more importantly, please share. You guys are helping me out a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. If you're feeling generous, uh, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.